In this world, we have been left behind by the gods. After the Titans fell, the children of Olympus returned to Camp Oasis to celebrate the festival of the Pantheons, where other gods have stepped forward to make their mark. Greek, Egyptian, Asian, Oceanic, and Nordic Pantheons must now live together despite millennia of hostilities. Now their descendants seek to prove themselves and survive against a dangerous world of mythical beasts, monsters, and worse. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. Excited, excited. Oh, they still sleeping. It looks like she hasn't transformed back yet. Guess the guess it lasts a little bit longer than she first thought. I guess. Let's find out. Wait, where's my? Oh no! Don't tell me I forgot it at the ball. No, maybe I should just walk out without problems here. Okay, she probably won't notice I'm gone. Besides, she seems to be asleep. Besides, with all that, all that she had, she's probably gonna be out for a while. Anyway, come on, come on, friend. Let's go back to the ball and get that, uh, get that room. Ah, I can't believe I forgot something at the ball. Great. Had to get all the way over here. Oh, still gonna blend, I guess. Uh, and I'm tired. Uh, I guess I, I must have left it over here when I was. Still some cake that Ah There you are. I was wondering where I left you. Well, at least I got you now. Huh. Although why can't I shake the near I had like I haven't even feeling like I should be alert. Why would that be? William. Huh? Wait, what's happening? What's going oh <coughs> <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? I can't breathe. Hello, is anyone there? This is the weirdest dream I've had yet. Although, I don't remember falling asleep. Who's there? Oh, it's you, Hilda. Why, hello there, Nat. You certainly let go of yourself over these years. Well, there hasn't been much reason for me to be training or fighting, until recently. Did you come here just to tell me that- By the way, what is this place? A dream or something? It is not a dream, Nad. 
You're in a place between life and death right now. What? How? When? Calm down, Nad. If everything gets resolved, you won't be dead for long. That's not why I came here to speak to you. I came here to speak to you about... Yeah, yeah, I know. About the test my father gave me to find his staff, to prepare and get as powerful as I possibly can. But don't you get it? I don't want this power. I know, I know. But you can't keep being afraid about who you were and what you did in the past. Think about your family. Your father. Your mother. What would they want for you to keep living in the past? Don't talk about my mother! There. Hero's the one that I trained and prepared for the coming battle. And it looks like you barely scratched the surface of what you're capable of. <sighs> yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Because that person is never coming back. Anyway, I'm done with this conversation. So just leave me alone. I will. It looks like you're going to wake up soon anyway, but... Please consider what your father asked you to do. By the way, I think you're still a kind person. There it is. The thing looks better. <coughs> the guy looks a lot better now. Yeah, but how are we gonna know? How are we gonna know if it really worked? Um. Guys. Bad news. What? Just mad. Oh no! Still. Zylo, go check out his last. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, what happened? I oh, guess he um, must have fell asleep in the river. In what? In the in the water? I mean, I know I sleep in you. weird places, but this is a new one. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you just. Oh, hey, Sai. Hello? That's a new look. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's. Oh, the, the wings, yeah. The wings. a lot. Yeah, a lot uh, of things happen. Oh, uh, why is my head. Why is it my head pounding? Uh, um, we think you what? fell off the, the bridge into the water, maybe. Oh. We thought you were dead. Oh, hey. Wait, you thought I was dead? That's. Um. I mean. Just gonna kind of ease into that. I don't know if we should go telling everybody what happened. What happened? Is that the well, I mean, I, it's, it's kind of hard to not break the ice with how I am right now. <laughs> I mean, you look. I mean, you look worse for where? Okay, what happened to your arm? <laughs> it's it's not there anymore. Yeah, it's uh, just not there anymore. I can see that. Could you be I a little more the, specific? It was your pantheon's book that. How? Uh, I mean, last no. I, I mean, last I checked, it, Magnus was the one who, I don't know, absorbed it. Yeah. Um. Ned, if you can just keep quiet about this whole thing, we don't know uh, how we're gonna yeah. keep explain quiet. it all yet. But quiet about what? I don't even know what happened. Other than, I, me waking up in a river, you having wings, and Impu here is missing, lo missing an arm. Well, Magnus or whatever was controlling Magnus, um, removed his arm. What? Yeah. Uh, long story. Yeah. Yep. Arm's gone. Yeah. Who is less of a bad than he used to be. But oh. <laughs> not in the in the joke way. Hey, so... <laughs> yeah, the Aphrodite ball didn't go too well for us. So the book did something, is basically what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Can I just say that I, I told you so about the, that being a bad idea? We all know... Yeah. It's fine. Everything is safe. Everything is solved. The last yeah. thing that we need to do is figure out what we need to do with that book. I mean, yeah. Yeah, if you don't need it anymore, I could just. I if you could we just. We all know what we need to do. Yeah, so yeah, if you I could just I give me the book so I could bring it back to. Magnus? Oh, wait, yeah. what are you doing?
You all, do you all know what you just did? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh... Yep. Yeah, we yep. know exactly what sure we just did. We did. Yeah. I you know the right choice. You know, 100%. I'm gonna. Be, you know, I'm. Before I was just in a big trouble. Now I'm gonna have an eternal torment when I get to Helheim. Just don't go back to Helheim. You'll be fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause that's okay. Yeah, cause let let me just find a way to gain immortality. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do I do? What do I do? Just go to Valhalla instead. You'll be fine. I can't. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do I do? Look, whatever, whatever you're afraid of, trust me, it would have been way worse if we didn't do that. Yeah, what? Much could, worse. Would you explain you know, what did, what did happen then? Well, if we didn't do that, you'd still be dead. So. Yeah. So. Get on you. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean I'd still be dead? Can we go Died. home? I, it's been a long, it's been a long I, day. What? Can we just go home? Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 you gotta tell me, what happened? Wait, okay, tell you, so... I wanna go home. The, the book took over, and something happened where people died, but it's all good now. Everyone's okay. And we can move on. Without the uh, book. You know what? Yeah. You know what? I don't care right now. I have way too much going on for my own, on my own for to care for this right now. You solved this? Good. You... Need to see a doctor, or whatever the, or whatever we have an equivalent of. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but you keep talking to me. Can we go? I'm, I don't know yes. how long. You know what? I don't know I'm just, I'm I just gonna last. take, I'm just gonna take my horse here, and I'm gonna go. See you around. All right. Later. We can talk later. <laughs> yeah, yeah we should we're... really get back home. Um... Hmm. You're uh. Huh? You're down here. Oh. I thought you'd still be up at the dance. Uh, no, I had to follow. No, I had to follow Lee home. Oh, you remember? Was next? She was a little bit uh, sideways. Yeah. Is she okay? Did she have too much to drink? No, she's she's fine. She's just sleep asleep like a dog, asleep heavily. Okay. Uh, and then some. Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Uh, uh, but I just had the weirdest dream. Uh. Anyway, what brings you here? I'm here because I want to. Uh, well, I came to see someone real quick. Mainly a. Uh, let's say a friend. To get back my personal weapon. Uh, that fancy sword of yours? Uh, yeah, the one I told you that. Yeah, Eternity. Oh yeah, I remember that sword. Huh, doesn't have those cracks anymore. Yeah. Wait, you knew about those? I mean, I have a... I just took at a glance. At first I thought maybe that was part of the design, but now that I see the weapon hole again, kind of just put two and two together. Right, when I brought it out for that split second during training. Yep. Oops. Ow! Sorry. The uh, sword, the sword has been a little fluctuating lately. It's been a, it's it, been, a, it's I had it some new material to make it stable again, and uh, because of that, the lightning tends to leak out sometimes. Uh, it's fine. Oof. Wait, you actually felt that, didn't you? Say claim that you never get hurt. Well, yeah, but that's normally by normal conventions. You said it yourself. That sword ain't exactly a normal sword, now is it? No, it's. It's not as strong as my father's uh, Master Bowl, which I assume is, a, by extension, Mjolnir. But it has a shard of the Master Bolt itself. The yeah. weapon that's said to even be stronger than Mjolnir. <laughs> uh, I don't want to have that comparison, because that's going to be an argument for an entire... That could be an argument for I don't know how long. That, and the fact that... Like, uh, uh, I don't know if either one of those Thunder Gods would be involved in... I don't know if I want to meet Thor under those circumstances. I would love to meet another Thunder God, I guess. Or Electric God. That isn't my... That could actually give me some different tips than my dad. Eh, uh, yeah. I mean, I know... I met my... I'm sorry, as I, as I told you before and all that. I met my I met my uncle for, for in Niflheim. And all that, but he was there just to get his hammer back and all that. 
So you just came, grabbed the hammer, and left? That and Loki. Oy, I'm guessing Loki is not as pleasant as he seems in all of his mythology. He is a character, that's for certain. Well, I wonder if they portrayed him right in the movies then. Hmm. I on I would say yes, but with him, I honestly don't know. You know, the whole tr god the of... Being, with the gods being real, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow Loki was playing himself. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's a thought we... You never... I actually never considered that before. Then again, he's normally too busy scheming things or pulling pranks. What I basically call them. Wait, that explains a lot. Huh? The ultimate, like, uh, bash to his brother Thor is to make him more beloved in the in those movies than him. And that Loki character, I believe, is more beloved than Thor himself in those movies. Could be. Wouldn't put it past him. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Speaking also of uh, electric weapons and all that, uh, I'm still nowhere near finding my, uh, that's st my father's staff. Did you try looking up what I said before about the, uh, looking to where, like, the weather is the strongest? I tried possibly looking there. I have, I did, and there is a couple of mountains, but, and I have heard of, I did and re some reading and all that. And you're right, there are a couple of mountains that have some stranger than normal weather, that's for sure. Or, uh, but, and if in some, if there's a more search, I narrow it down to, like, three or four mountains in the local... Mountains in like within a, I'd say a hundred kilometer area. Well, you do know we have means of getting you to those places, right? There are uh, there are people all over this camp with different mounts and different ways of getting you there. You could honestly ask around. You probably could find like a simple way of getting there. Yeah, I still, actually, I still got the mount I have from I had from the ball. Meat. Boneless pizza. Who names a horse boneless pizza? Ask Lee. Okay. Um. Anyway, but we have a lot of flying mounts. This is a he a can fly. Mount. What? I don't know either, but he can. He has no wings. Hold on. Here. Oh wait, this is in the Pegasus, so I can't exactly just. See. How? I have no idea. He just can. Wait. I mean, if it's Hold on. if it was a ram, that would have it would have made some sense. Sense in some. Oh, ways. it has. It just brushed me with wings. It's invisible. Is it? I can either see or feel any wings. Yeah, and for a split second, I heard him talk. I heard him chuckling. Chuckling? Wait, you can oh, understand. Right. Yeah, Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus are horses that have the potential to become Pegasus. I'm able to hear their speak, hear them talk. So did he say? Because anything? of my father, because of my father, Lord of the Sky, is connected to them. Uh... Poseidon has a link to regular horses. Poseidon, uh, Zeus ha gave them the, gave them the uh, the gift of flight. Ah. Uh... Oh, done. That suddenly brings a whole lot of sense to a lot of things in that area. I mean, who else would you be able to give them a flight beside him? Uh, I mean, the I first, mean, Pegasus was, first Pegasus was created out of clouds. You sure know your mythology, don't you? I have to. When I was dropped into this camp... I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anything about mythology. Wait. And in order to... What? Quick question. When you say drop, do you mean literally? Because I've heard that happen to someone. No, no, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. No, uh, what happened was for me, I, uh, I was chased here. And in order to survive and to find out who my parents was so I can start, you know, training appropriately, as they said, I read a lot of books. I read a lot of things. Mm. At one point, I think I read majority of the library before I got expanded. Let me guess, with the other pantheons uh, well, as well? Well, no, actually. The books didn't cover other pantheons until now. Yeah, 
I've I have been in that library going over a couple hundreds of books or so. Oh, myself, and I can and they do, and you are right, they have a lot. I'm, but the Nordic is still a little bit smaller. Scarce. Yeah, scarce. It's because we, I'm guessing, they weren't expecting Nordics to show up. No, I dis. No, you don't. Nope. Wrong camp. <laughs> Got an invitation to a camp and find out it's the wrong one I went to. <laughs> I don't even understand how that happened. This camp was supposed to be hidden to everyone that's not supposed to be here. Uh, well, guess since I guess since I had my idea is either A because I am a damn me god, it somehow allowed me to still find this place, or. Maybe someone else in the camp allowed me to come here? Someone with actual authority and power to mess with the whole illusion and barrier is supposed to be the only one able to. And I don't know anyone besides Kayla that can do that. I so. mean, for all I know, my, my, uncle, my uncle Loki could have been behind that trick as well. You're not wrong. Wait, so, question. You you were invited to a different camp. Was, was there a competition there, too? I have no idea. The sign-ups were... Apparently, this, I have no idea, really. I have never been to that camp. Isn't that something you're going to have to look for at the end of the summer? Yeah, that's definitely... That could definitely be a theory. Just hope. But, at the end of the day, I'm here, and I've been getting this we And I've been getting this weird task. I mean... Heck, out of the other day, not too long ago, I saw Raven that gave me the task to set uh, out for the staff of Vidar. So the so I'm guessing your father and all them know you're at this camp then. Oh yeah, they do. They very much do. Oh great! Luckily, I'm not the word one, or else I think you're a spy for them. And luckily, we're not at any fault or war with the Nordics. No. Plus, why would I even spy on you? People. I have nothing against you, personally, either. No, no, you don't, but the fact that the Nordics tend to be more war-hungry than other pantheons, <laughs> from what I learned. Uh, that's certainly a reputation they've earned themselves. After yeah. all, calling them the mightiest warriors and all that. Yeah, I remember Zeus had an issue with that with Thor once, from what he told me. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that war caused a storm. That battle caused a storm that that crossed all of the all of the U.S. and caused like massive damage. Yep, I've I've heard of that one. So my father never told me who won. He just smirked when I said who won in the end. He just said he smirked and said, "If you ask me, I won. But if you ask Thor, he might have a different opinion." So I actually don't know who won. Eh, uh, who knows? I mean, at the end of the day, for sorry for saying this, Uncle Four. At the end of the day, I think Zeus may have a little bit of more advantage, but then again, I can't say for certain. Hmm. Well, I guess Thor does have the disadvantage of having most of his abilities in one hammer. So if you separate the two, yeah, that's what most people normally commonly think. Oh, is that something that's not common in the movies? No, they yet yeah, they just depicted it. Mjolnir certainly has the power of the storms and all that, but at the end of the day, Thor is a god of thunder, not a god of hammers. Remember? Hmm, that's true. Uh, but no, yeah. <laughs> Quick question. So, when? Did you know anything as well as well about my dad? Do you know anything about my father, really? What was his name again? Vidar. Hmm. I did come across his name a few times when I was searching some of the books. Not much other than just another god of the storms. Not in particular electricity, but like strong winds and all that. Am I correct? Nope. That's not uh, either. That's not that either, really. Hmm. He is... I don't think I've ever told you that what his full title is. He is the god of vengeance. Oh... God of Vengeance. I think you mentioned that once, actually. That you vengeance and revenge is kind of like an issue for you or something. Yeah, I don't think I've ever told anyone about this, but if I could have anything, I just wish I didn't have any of my powers. 
<laughs> Honestly, at some points in t in this recent new life, I've wished the same. I've wished not to be a demigod and just be a regular person. Yeah. Worrying about graduating high school. Worrying about graduating, finding a good college. I still have those worries, don't yeah. mind you, but <laughs> I also don't <clears throat> have a, you know, the luxury of that as well. I hear you there. I spent... But Do you have a fan? I've, but I've also learned there's also good that comes with it. <laughs> if you ask me, nothing good comes with it. I mean, if you weren't the son of a that demi demigod, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have met. You wouldn't have met like uh, all your friends here. That's true. But also, if I wasn't the son, son of Ida, I would still have have a family. What do you mean? I won't go into too many details, but let's just say an incident happened a long time ago and my hometown is, is not exactly there anymore. Well, I can't tell you to simply, you know, any advice particularly to that since I don't know the details and nor have I experienced something like that. But I can tell you that, uh, you could, uh, well, I guess you could live in it now. Use what you have as a gift to help others. I... And use what you can and the time you have to make sure that your life is lived to the best. I'm... You, I put that you, could, you could live in the past for all your life, but you could also try to strive for a better future. <laughs> yes, you're right there. <laughs> Sounds like you have a more experience with that than I have. <laughs> Last uh, year was... I literally went through some a lot of hell. Some of it quite literally. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot here, doesn't it? Yeah, I visited the underworld and I also visited the layer under the underworld. Yeah. I, I never... visited Tartarus. Yeah, I... And I oh, guess we have something in common there. I, would, I just recently visited Helheim. Yeah, it's not like a different... It's like... From what I learned from uh, the few books, basically everyone ends up at the same place. It's just called differently depending on where you're from. That's what I am honestly not sure. That could very much be the case, or maybe really is different domains in it in their own rights. Well, I wonder if it's like what you believe in. If you're from Egypt and you believe in like the Egyptian gods, do you go to like their version of the underworld? Because apparently. Mm -hmm. America has the full Greek thing under us, from what I learned. It does? Apparently. When I went down there once and w <coughs> at, with Zylo, I swear I saw like a line f full of like tourists or whatever from uh, from America down there. Like clothing and all that. Huh. That's an interesting fact. Was... Yeah. And then I spent quite a bit of time in the Underworld Library, or Hades' personal library. Isn't that place full of, like, forbidden, very dangerous tomes of knowledge? Quite a bit of it, yeah. But also has a lot of information that wasn't here at the camp, and I needed it to figure out something last year. Yeah, that... I still haven't heard that full story. What was your... What was or is your beef with that with Brian? He seems like a nice fella. You don't know what happened last year, do you? I've heard I've heard things left and right that involve personally you, Silo, and K, Miss K. Hey, but I haven't heard the full de story or uh, any. I crunk. guess you'll find you'll find out some other way if I don't tell you now. So, last year Brian was different. When I first met him, he was a bully, a full-on bully. Of course, I guess we all have to. All have those faces. Let me finish. The bully was apparently caused by this sword of his. He called it Seductive Rose. And this sword caused him to do many bully things, evil things. And throughout this camp summer, he just caused me issues left and right. 
and eventually it culminated to him releasing the Titans. The what? The Titans are are the parents or the gods before the Olympian gods like Zeus, Poseidon, and them. No, no, I, yeah, I know about those, but you, you're kidding, right? No, he almost, he basically almost caused the Greek version of Ragnarok. How are we not? How? Oh, that must have been the part where Silo came in. I heard about he doing something at the end of the part there. We don't have the power to k defeat the Titans, no. But we were able to hold, apparently from the stories that I heard, the, the Kempers were able to hold them off long enough for Zylo to use a special sword from his father to send them back to the underworld where basically Hades waged war with his endless skeletal army to put them back into the Tartarus. Okay, that's interesting, but that still doesn't answer. How did Brian suddenly make a full 180? I know well, I, cause not to say anything, but I know a lot about anger and hatred and and uh, grudges, and you don't just change like that overnight, or in a period of a that year. That was because of me. Okay. Just before the he released the Titans, he had done something horrible. He had hurt Caleb badly, to a point of near death. Oh. That was. Yes. I had thought she had died, and. I was so enraged, and you know how it is being a child of the Thunder God, or son of Zeus in particular. My anger is something to be feared, apparently. I uh, Believe me, I am all too well familiar with that concept. And I stormed off to Brian himself and fought him. I fought him until he couldn't fight anymore. And I had a choice then. I could have ended Brian right then and there, killing him, getting revenge. But I sensed something was wrong with the sword itself, that seductive rose. And using eternity and all my power I had left, I shattered that sword. Which, can I take a far fetch, led to eternity getting broken as well? Not broken, but cracked, yes. Cracked, sorry. Whoever, whatever power was in that sword was comparable to a god's. Ugh. Thank yeah. Well, thank god that thing is gone, am I right? Yeah, thankfully. And apparently when I did so, I broke the hold over Brian and was able to free him from the sword. Well, now that I've heard that story, no wonder you were oozing with so much anger. No wonder you were oozing with so much anger when I first saw you. It's an issue, yes. Yeah. But it's, I don't... Yeah, I know Brian is no longer controlled by the sword, but it's more of the fact, like, it's hard to forget what one person did over the course of a summer. Oh, I can I can fully understand you there. That was also why, out of respect, I didn't want to get involved with anything or say anything to it, even though I may knew a bit about your rage at the start. Mm. Sorry, God, son of the God of Vengeance, you kind of pick up on things like that. Yeah, no, it's okay. I also yeah. understand that too. During the uh, summer I was with my father, I learned how to read people's electrical signals. What does it say? Oh, can you see? Electrical signals, like uh, when someone's happy, they give off different types of like velocity of like body signals that also translate to how much of a of electricity they're giving off. Ooh. You can guess that when someone's angry, they give off a lot of it. I could imagine. Hey, With you... I... Yeah, what does it say about me if you try? When I brought up a few topics, I know some of your electrical signals hinted more towards worry, sadness, and a bit of anger, honestly. Oh boy, that's... Yep, you pretty much hit the nail on the head with that one. I guess I'm... That's why I stopped <laughs> following that topic. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Huh. I guess coming to this camp isn't so bad after all, considering everything then. No, honestly, from what I've learned. As long, as much as there is bad that happens around you, being a child of a, of a god, you honestly also have to look at the good. 
You can't change the bad, but you can always look at the good as well. <laughs> I think you're right about that. You know what? That's also probably why I should do what my what I've been asked to by my father. I don't know if it was him or one of my other or the other or another guy that brought me here, but they put me here for a reason. I should probably try and see what that what that follows. And hey, which reminds me, I should probably be off now. Now. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I should probably get some sleep. Yeah. But hey, just before you go, just from a, g a guy who knows a lot of thing or two about vengeance, you are taking the right step towards. Uh, Towards, re towards redemption and all that. Not for yourself, mm. but just for the person you fi you hate. Yeah. See you around, Mario. Well, it's kind of awkward. Gonna see have to go in that direction, too. I have to go in this direction anyway, so see ya. See ya.